so it says, New Republic President of the United States, Paul Ryan, will be making a prime time address to the nation very shortly, announcing his appointment as the 45th President of the Republic, as well as the selection of General Joseph Dunford, former intern Republic President, as his Vice President. This peaceful this peaceful transition of power falls within all established constitutional guidelines, and thus everything should appear normal to both a domestic and global viewing audience, as there is a precedent for a U.S. president resigning, Richard Nixon, in 1974, so President, Ryan, or, yeah, so president Ryan will first have to announce the resignation of former President Obama and Vice President Biden, who were told have pre-taped resignation speeches. This is why Obama is nowhere to be found since the State of the Union address and Biden is suddenly traveling to Israel. Also, this is why the military is on high tactical alert, just in case there are disruptions within the general population over the unannounced Obama administration exit, hence the need for helicopters, deploy ground forces, and heavy transportation vehicles. President Ryan will then announce the closure of the Federal Reserve Bank, as well as the new U.S. Treasury issued gold-backed currency called the United States Notes. It is in a U.S. It is in U.S. bank vaults and ATMs now and have a one-to-one -one exchange ratio. Again, nothing out of the scope of a rational, eventual, un unordinary, just the way the elders prefer to handle everything, subtle and understanding, but truthful and transparent. President Ryan will be making a few other changes, <clears throat> which we have yet to, lo to lock down exactly what those will be. It is anticipated that Ryan's speech will come either Wednesday or Thursday evening at 8 p.m., and those of us following the RV can look for Redemption Appointment 800s to be re released simultaneously through the internet, the phone, and email as President Ryan declares the gold standard and new USNs publicly to the world. This is considered the surrender of the cabal. Note, SKR accounts are also scheduled to be released at this time. Private groups like those lumped together in Reno, as well as the Internet group, are now scheduled to begin physical redemptions starting at 7 a.m. on Friday, 3-11-2016, and go through Tuesday, March 16th. With bank, branch, or a mass public redemptions beginning as early as March 21st, start of spring. <clears throat> continuing for exactly one month. Notifications to subgroup leaders are coming. International and contract rates are great, so get in early, do your business, because rates will be going down, not up in the future. Friday, April 22nd, has long been the day we understood the new gold sport price, and this is in parentheses, benchmark standard for all currency values will be announced at the Shanghai Gold Exchange. This would mean the entire RV process took exactly one year from when the, when the TRNs were first allowed to be traded and allowed to go live on bank screens, therefore constituting the official beginning of the RV. Let me read that again. Friday, April 22nd has long been the day we understood the new gold sport price will be announced at the Shanghai Gold Exchange. This would mean the entire RV process took, ex took exactly one year from the TRNs and were first allowed to be traded or allowed to go live on back screens. Not bank screens, back screens. Therefore, constituting the official beginning of the RV. This is why so many have said the RV is done, and yet it's not. Again, be flexible as dates and times are fluid given the importance of guaranteeing security for, for such a hyper unusual event. As for the presidential race, eventually Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton 
will bow out either for health reasons or because she's being prosecuted for past transgressions or both. Bernie Sanders will be the lame duck Democratic nominee in November's general election. The Republic nominee will not be Donald Trump as he will be patriotically stepping aside in the best interest of the country. So President Ryan Cannon will ultimately be shift will be sitting will be the sitting Republican presidential nominee with full support of his of his conservative base. I'm tongue tied, hold on. The Republican nominee will not be Donald Trump as he will be he will patriotically step aside in the best interests of the country so President Ryan can and will ultimately be sitting will be the sitting Republican presidential nominee with the full support of his conservative party base. This is why Ryan was given the Speaker of the House position so that in the in this moment he would be president and possibly for eight years plus eight years plus his short tenure this term. At this time, it is unclear if General Dunford will also be on the ticket, as he may believe that this that, that is doubtful, except the general either to return to his post as chairman of the Joint Chiefs or retire. <clears throat> Any way you look at these upcoming events, it's clear we're in the middle of a historic world moment, very much like the fall of Rome in circa 476 CE. Um, the, the Ryan situation is interesting. Remember when the Pope came to town and all of a sudden Boehner stepped aside and and, and Ryan didn't particularly want to step in? Remember that, Speaker of the House? I think it was back in September. Oh, yeah. Watch, watched it well. I mean, we're all mm -hmm. going, well, I guess the boss came to town and, and uh, fired somebody. Right. Right. Well, actually, that the Pope signed off on the United States. <laughs> he signed off on the country. He signed off on the corporate control of the country. And he literally signed back the United States to its own ownership. So, I mean, the events when he came to town were dramatic. Um, and then, so this has been in the works a long, long time. They just they couldn't get the security quite right. The banking had been done for a long time. So when everybody was reporting the banking is done, this is done, that, it's, they were all telling the truth. But that wasn't necessarily allow, allowing it to go forward because from a security standpoint, until they had confidence and certainty that not only could they secure the population um, of the United States, but they could also, once they started the RV, that there would be no shenanigans that would stop it. And they tried to do a peaceful transition of, of one with the other, and ultimately the, the bad guys just wouldn't, wouldn't relent, so they had to literally replace the entire system. And, and, and But the good news is it's been humming and up and running and functional for months. Um, but again, the issue was security. It wasn't it wasn't banking. We're all looking at this as a banking uh, event, and, um, and and the two powers that be are looking at this as a as a government transfer or a, a, a transition of, of power. Now, albeit it's going to be a peaceful one, and it looks like on the surface it's going to be a, a pretty normal one, even though you have a president and vice president resigning. You have a normal transition of power because Speaker of the House is third in line to run the country if anything happens to the president and vice president. Uh, I want to bring in Ico here, if you don't mind. I'm going to unmute him. Rockstar. Am I unmuted? Am I unmuted? Yes, sir. Yes, you are. Go ahead. Uh, Well, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just say it because there's no, there's no beating around the bush. Um, if this in fact happens in the way you just, you just put it, the, the New Republic is the most naive organization I have ever encountered in my life. If you guys think the American middle class is going to suddenly stomach the resignation of the president and the vice president without any buildup, any prep, any 
any uh, uh, foreplay, um, that's insane. You're going to have armed insurrection in the streets. You're going to have militias manning up and coming out and firing because they're going to feel threatened that their entire world is coming down. Nobody, nobody knows about the New Republic, Yusuf. Nobody. They don't. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a small philosophy in the scheme of things. And I don't buy it for one moment. I do buy everything else that you said. If you, if you, if you stopped it at the end of Paul Ryan becoming president and then started with all the intel you related after, I see that as completely plausible and, and, and a, uh, a logical scenario. But, but to, you know, for, for this to remain a secret, impossible. Just impossible. I'm sorry. I just, I just don't buy it. That's, that's where I'm at. I love you. I love your message. I love your spirituality, but but this is this to me is 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 pure and utter fantasy. So that's all I got to say. Mm-hmm.